Well, this summer has certainly been a popular time to travel for millions of Americans, and they're finding that the cost of getting away is going through the roof. So if you're already planning a trip for the winter season, good. According to Scott Keyes from Scott's Cheap Flights, when planning any vacation, you should always think opposite. He hmm. recently spoke with ClickOrlando.com's Brandon Voles about what all travelers need to look for. I'll ask you about finding cheap flights in the summer and they ask you in the summer, by that time, it's too late. So when is the right time that they should be asking to find the, the price they want? We all know that the cheapest time to buy swimsuits is in the winter and the cheapest time to buy uh, winter coats is in the summer. And it's the exact same thing with airfare. Right now is when you should be thinking about those Christmas New Year flights if you're hoping to travel during that peak holiday season. And during that peak holiday season is when you should be thinking about booking those summer flights. You know, the, the, the way I like to phrase it is always book opposite season. Tuesdays are the best time to find cheap flights if you have to do it in a pinch. Is that true? Is there any truth to that? Problem is that that hasn't been how airlines set their airfares for years. Nowadays, it's set by these complex computer algorithms and it's constantly changing by the day, if not by the hour. Uh, so while there's no single cheapest time to book your flights, it's no longer Tuesday at 1 p.m. or anything like that, the good news is cheap flights are popping up all the time. You don't have to set yourself a calendar reminder. And so the best strategy with that in mind in order to get cheap flights is to use this concept I call the Goldilocks windows. Not too early, not too late right in the middle is where the sweet spot is going to be. And so if you're traveling domestically, usually about one to three months ahead of time is going to be that sweet spot Goldilocks window when cheap flights are most likely to pop up. If you're traveling internationally, it's a bigger range, about two to eight months ahead of time. But if you're traveling during a peak season, you know, middle of summer, Christmas, New Year's, even something like Ireland for St. Patrick's Day, uh, you want to add a few months to those recommendations or just use my the shorthand that I use to remember, always book opposite season. You know, we've seen the last few months, a lot of flights that typically would be expensive, those overseas mm -hmm. flights, they're not that bad right now. Why is that? And how can you predict whether that's going to happen again in the future so that you can get that good price? This year, Europe didn't really start opening in force until May, June, by which time most families had already made their summer plans. And when they were making their summer plans, Europe was still closed. So they instead booked their flights to Hawaii, to Cancun, to Alaska, to Florida. Great places, don't get me wrong, but uh, you know, not Europe. And so as a result, all these airlines that are flying planes over to Europe are finding themselves with tons of unsold seats. And so what are they doing? What's the easiest way to try to sell those unsold seats? It's by cutting the price. It's slashing the fares. And so unlike normal years, we're not only seeing cheap summer flights to Europe, we're seeing cheap last minute summer flights to Europe. That is a total anomaly. I'm not sure we're ever going to really see it again, but if you're hoping to be able to visit Europe sometime in the next few months, you're gonna be the beneficiary of some great airfare. What about the rental cars, going back to that? Do you see that regulating itself anytime soon or is that expected to continue that shortage? So the difficulty with the car rental market is that it'll, it'll get itself fixed once the car rental agencies really replenish their fleets that they had sold off early in the pandemic. The problem is that it's running, it's, it's, um, uh, there's a kind of perfect storm happening in the car market where the car manufacturers who the rental agencies are usually buying, you know, new cars from all the time, they're actually not able to make enough new cars to keep up with demand. And the reason why is that there's a global a semiconductor chip shortage that you know is is basically in every new car helps power everything from you know the uh, navigation to the steering you know all sorts of things that is causing there to be far fewer new cars available than there would be otherwise and so I don't know when the semiconductor chip shortage is going to end but uh, it, that's going to have to happen for the car rental, uh, uh, you know, the car apocalypse essentially to resolve itself. Otherwise, you could be looking at many months, if not years, of really expensive car rentals. Hmm. 
Yeah, the car situation, such a mess. We need to learn how to make semiconductors. Exactly. We need Google to start that today to and yeah. figure that out. Scott <laughs> adds if there are cheap flights for the priority for your next trip, first look where cheap flights are available right now. Step two of those places, pick a destination that most appeals to you. And then step three, Pick dates that work for your schedule. So now is the time to start planning. I know. A lot of people have just been, they've been cooped up for a year and a half. Yes. And they just want to go. They've been able to save up some money, you know, mm. if they've, you know, they weren't able to do much last year. So, you know, save now travels, everyone. Yes. Yeah, save some money.